Hey guys, we are back at Comic-Con. It's 2015 and this is the cast of the Vampire Diaries and Caroline Dries. And we have questions that you guys have asked. So, what is one word you would use to describe the season seven premiere? Bananas. Dark. Ooh. Unpredictable. Edgy. Dangerous. Sexy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sexy bananas. How will Damon cope with the loss of Elena? Oh. How will Damon cope with the loss of Elena? Lots of bourbon. And um, a few nice man tears. And some nice man tears. How has your character <laughs> changed in the missing time between season six and seven? Oh. No. Julie, how's your character changed? <laughs> My moral character has, has taken a <laughs> yes. Has diminished greatly. Yeah. My character um, feels kind of like he's he's found his place. Um, with 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 Lily and and her heretics. With my mom. With you with sick and <laughs> It's not like that necessarily. I would like to ask Michael Malarkey if he would like to bring his musical talents to the show. Ooh. Which, Wait, you have for to those have, who don't know, you have to have musical. He has been <laughs> he has been on a nice world tour across he all of been. Europe with a man and his guitar. So Michael, how do you feel about bringing your musical talents to the show? Well, hey man. <laughs> Sure. Well, it's funny you should ask because I was just telling him not 30 minutes ago that we are bringing his musical talents to the show. Woo! Yeah, that actually works out really well. Hello, we're the cast of the originals and we're here at Comic Con to answer some of your questions. I'm going to ask Joseph a question. What? No, no, no. What, no. Is the, what is the state of the brothers' bond when season three starts? Shattered is the word I would use to describe it. Yeah. Will we see Vincent use magic again next season? Well, I, for right now, I think Vincent is pretty much committed to uh, staying uh, outside of the magical world uh, in, in, in any direct capacity, but I think we're gonna see him flirt with uh, the idea of using it and flirt with the magical world. Daniel, will Elijah be looking for revenge for what Klaus did to Gia? I, 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 I hope he does. I hope if, he if he was seeking revenge, what sort of revenge would he seek? Telling Klaus how mediocre his art is. Oh. <laughs> Cammie's acknowledged her feelings for Klaus, but also at times has called him a monster. Where do you think the breaking point with him is? I think this season she's setting some boundaries, or attempting to. I think, you know, she's like, I'm gonna be your therapist, which I don't know if it's a great idea, because she like, you're not supposed to have feelings for your clients. And she's like, I'm gonna make <laughs> this complicated and fun. Um, and uh, so she's trying to set boundaries, but she has, um, she has, she, that look at that face. I mean, it's so hard, it's so hard. With Haley's pack having been cursed, is her greatest struggle simply finding a way to be human more than once a month? I think that Haley is struggling because she um, she isn't with her you know little baby right now, so I think she's struggling missing these kind of big moments in her baby's life, and also struggling because she she's so angry at class and she just wants to kind of seek revenge on him, but she only has a very small window once a month um, when the full moon is out. Mm -hmm.